Hello, welcome back. Today I thought we would uh, go over what we find on a terminal in the Corvega. And the reason for this is that it gives us a lot of uh, information and a lot of uh, insight into what exactly was going on when we met the Minutemen in Concord. And it gives us a little insight into Mama Murphy. Gunfires finally quieted down. Suppose that means either Lonnie or Gristle wiped up the last of the ghouls, or they're currently serving as someone's meal. But now that Lexington is secure, I can finally get to work. Nothing is working. The old woman, she used to just huff some jet, pop some pills, then she'd start babbling, spouting vision after vision, and they all turned out true. The raiders burning the town, killing the parents, stealing the kids, stealing me. I remember the look in her eyes when she saw my fate. Kid, you're gonna be a monster. All true. If I could get that sort of power, that sight, the Commonwealth, the other gangs, no one would have a prayer. But nothing's working. Maybe I need to try upping the dosages. I'm gonna need another bucket. It's not the chems. They're just a trigger for the sight. It's me. I'm the problem. Wish I'd realized it before my arms looked like pin cushions, but at least it's a new lead. I need subjects. Still no successes. But the rumor of free chems has brought plenty of new recruits. Ranks are nearly back up to where they were before we cleaned out Lexington. Lonnie thinks it's a waste of time, says we need to spend our time building up our defenses. But Lonnie doesn't make the decisions. I do. She does seem to be enjoying her new position, though. Maybe another dose of Psycho will get her visions firing. Gristle says there's a caravan headed this way. Some joker in a cowboy hat with a laser musket. Three civilians and one frail old woman dressed like a fortune teller. It's her. I know it's her. I sent Gristle to collect her. I wonder if she'll recognize me. Of course she will. She saw this coming after all. Mama Murphy tells stories. You can overhear her talking to Sturgis. She tells one story about killing a Deathclaw with a handgun. With only one bullet. No fancy power armor or none of that. She does talk about having been with the Raiders, very briefly. Corvega gives us a little insight into exactly why it is that Gristle was in Concord. He was sent there by the Raiders, and the reason for this being that they wanted Mama Murphy, and they wanted to use her visions and her sight. And with that, Corvega's done. Have a good day.